Francis McShane here and in this video I'm going to show you how Windor Plus allows you to add custom materials to glazing and panels, door and window sills, rain deflectors and weather bars and finally how to save your custom window or door to a library for later use. Using SketchUp click into the window until you reach the glazing group then click into it Select the outer glazing or panel face and your custom material and apply the material, in this case sky reflection. Now turn the glazing or panel right around and select the inner glass or panel material, in this case room reflection, and apply it as the back material to the outer glazing or panel sheet. Here I'm given the sill a custom colour and here I select and apply a material to the window component and this of course only colours the frame since the glazing and sill are nested groups within the window component and we have just applied to them their own custom materials. Uh, I took a look at the back of the window so you could see that the inside glass is different from the outside. Remember only the outer sheet front and back materials need to be customised. The inner sheet gets the back face material automatically now I move on to the door and you click into the door leaf and on into the glazing panel and you change the glass materials just like for the window. This door leaf has a rain deflector and this too can be custom coloured. At the bottom of the leaf is a weather bar and it too gets a custom colour, as does the sill. Now I apply a custom material to the door component and, just like the window, its nested glazing, rain deflector, weather bar and sill retain their own custom materials. We can see here how editing the window and door does not affect their bits with the customised materials. I speeded this up. You can see how to edit doors and windows in Door Plus and Window Plus tutorials in my YouTube channel or in my SketchUp Extension Warehouse pages for Window Plus and Door Plus. Let's now save out our customised door and window as a couple of library components for later use. You cannot save a custom coloured SketchUp component using the context menu Save As. Try it and you will see that you lose the wrapping colour, the colour or material applied to the component itself. To keep this last material attached, you just need to select the window or door and one other drawing element. I've drawn a line for selection in this case. Then you can save the two as a new component with the door or window nested inside the new component. This new component can now be saved using the context menu Save As. When you need it you can re-import the component into your model, explode it and retrieve the nested window or door with its wrapping colour still attached. The, import, the imported component itself is not a window plus or door plus object and cannot be edited as such. You must explode it or click into it to access the window plus window or the door plus door. 